This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the new Minecraft Voyage Aquatic, and I'm on part two. All right, let's see what we're doing. Boats are much easier than swimming in open water. Ooh, I know that from Minecraft. Head to the end of the dock to hop aboard. All right, so let's see here. Let's uh, first of all remember that if you click run, it should run the code. Oh, well, we don't have any code, so nothing moved over here. I'm going to go ahead and reset that. Our code is always here, our blocks of code, and then our instructions as well. Okay, and we can change the size of the game board if we would like. Now, let's go ahead, workspace, one of five blocks. Okay, so I know I'm going to need to move forward, and let's see, I'll move forward again, and let's test this. I would always run it after each just a few blocks because it's easier to avoid mistakes that way. It's really hard if I have 10 lines of code to figure out what I did wrong. So I always hit run after a few times. And good thing I did because I only needed it to move forward once. And you notice to delete, you can just drag and drop. Okay. Let's say then let's try to turn right. I'm going to reset. Okay, that looks better. And then move forward two oop, oop. and make sure they're connected otherwise it won't run you can also see actual text right and it looks more like javascript but uh, that's a coding language let's go ahead reset and run once twice ah steve and me made it perfect you just wrote four lines of code all time total Ooh. all right um, I'm not going to replay, so let's go ahead and keep going. 